Hey guys, so in this lecture we will understand what is delegates usage in C sharp. Now in my previous lecture I have explained you that what are delegates and how can we use them or how can we declare a delegate in C sharp. So but in my previous lecture it was not clear that why do we need a concept called as delegate to call a method. If we can call a method from a class itself why do we need a delegate to do so right. So to understand this let's proceed in this lecture. So a delegate help us to point to a method. So this point was clear in my previous lecture. A delegate variable is assigned a method at runtime. So this is useful for writing plugin methods. So what do I mean by these points? Uh, let's look into Visual Studio and understand what do I mean by this second point. So this is the same example we were working with uh, in my previous delegates lecture. So all this uh, method has had is to prompt a user a number and then uh, square the function, right? Square the number. So let me run this and show you. Let me enter 10. It's giving me 100. And all this method is using is a single delegate. And this delegate is pointing to this function in here. So the signature of these dele this delegate and this uh, square function is same. You can see this method and this delegates are present in in the same class. Okay. So let us let us think of a scenario that we are designing a class. Okay. And we are working with the we are not working with program class we are having a different class so let's cut this square function from here and let's have a our own custom class so my class let's call this class as utility class okay and this utility class will have my static function okay and the implementation of uh, rest of my code is in the program class which is the entry point of my method okay this main method now since this method is present in utility we need to use utility class name in here since this method is a static method we don't need to create the object of utility class we can directly call it by utility class name right utility okay so this is the only difference in this code that we are using this utility class name to call uh, to point it to this function that that is because this function is present in a different class okay and let's try to run this program now this entire number 10 it gives me the square of 10 now everybody is happy right now say suppose my program is running fine my class is running fine everything is fine now say suppose in over a period of time there is some other functionality called as cuber which is added to this class okay so let's have a functionality in cuber and then it gives me a more multiplication of x right it gives me a cube of a number just like my square function okay and i can uh, point this delegate to this cuber function too okay to invoke this cuber function so in this case this seems very fine okay that we are adding this functionality to this utility class over the period of time but say if you are working with big projects like insurance project or banking projects or some healthcare projects so you are not allowed to change this class or utility class that is because this is called as framework okay so if your client has written this framework so he will not allow you to touch this class okay you need to make changes somewhere else and then plug the functionality to, to this utility class so over the period of time you won't be allowed to add n number of met methods in here so i have added two methods in here say suppose you need 10 more methods to be added over the period of time you are not allowed to do so you, you don't need to uh, add 10 more methods in the client's framework class okay so what is expected from you on this projects that you dis uh, devise such flexible class that this functionality of cuber and square could be plugged in this utility class at runtime and this is achieved with the help of delegates so let's get back to our slides and understand what do i mean by this point so you can see the third point in other words we can pass delegates as parameters to methods thus increasing flexibility and without change in client class once a new method or functionality is added so this is the main functionality of methods that you can use delegates in uh, to pass methods as parameters 
okay or in other words we are plugging the functionality at runtime so let's move to visual studio and try to achieve this scenario so i will not have these two functions defined here okay these will be defined outside my framework class here okay i will just have my utility class and i will have a simple method and and a single delegate which will point to my functions so i will cut this delegate from here and i will have a, this delegate inside my utility class and now let's uh, devise some generalized methods in which we can plug the functionality of these square and cuber methods okay so let me have public static integer transform so this is the name of my method the generalized method what i am talking about and it takes integer x and it takes a type of transformer delegate okay and all it does is it returns the instance of this delegate so return t of x so what i have done in here first let's try to remove this error so what does this error says it says it's less accessible than this delegate so this is a flaw so let me make it as public and my error goes away okay so what i'm doing in here i am just making a generalized methods and method and passing a transformer t type to this method and this method returns this result of delegate invocation so you can see i am invoking this delegate in here just like i was doing in here okay so this is my generalized method now since these two lines are specific to my previous program so i don't need this so i let me remove this okay and now let's call this transform method so i am calling this transform method and see what does this x expects it expects integer x so i will pass my i variable in here which i am capturing from the console and it second parameter it, it expects is the uh, transformer t delegate type so it is expecting me any method that resembles this delegate or the uh, method which this delegate can point it takes in this method so let me pass my square function in here okay so what i am doing instead of calling this square function directly from the class name or say some other delegate i am plugging in this square function at the runtime of this method so you can see this transform is a method which i have defined in here and this square is a method too so i am passing this square method as a parameter to this transform method and this is only possible with the help of delegates so remember if you need to pass a method as a parameter to some other method this is only possible with the help of delegates and also i have not changed any code in my client class so let's try to first run this and verify the result okay so it gives me error what does this error says it says i guess i have missed this j name right i don't have to uh, i don't have j in here to display so let me okay so this transform utility will return something so i will store this in a variable called result okay and then i will display that result onto the console so very straightforward and simple code let's try to run this again please enter a number say 20 it gives me 400 now let's say we have added a cuber functionality to my class okay or we need to uh, implement the cuber functionality so all i just need to do is pass this cuber function in here to this transform function this transform function is defined in here okay now let's try to run this let's enter 10 the result should be 1000 and it gives me 1000 so now i have plugged cuber functionality into this 
method beforehand i was plugging in square functionality same thing you can achieve with n number of methods you can define n number of methods outside that framework class and plug in this method into this transform function with the help of delegates and how i am plugging in these methods with the help of this transformer delegate okay so this is the real usage of delegates in c sharp so let's move back to our slides so these are the three points the first point is delegate helps us to point to a method a delegate variable is assigned a method at runtime so this is useful for writing plugin methods so this is the same thing i am doing in here i am plugging in this cuber functionality in other words we can pass delegates as parameters to methods so this is a very important point regarding delegates so this what what do we achieve through this we achieve flexibility in our classes we don't need to change the client classes again and again once a new functionality is added to that class okay so i hope you understood the concept of delegates and the usage of delegates in c sharp so thank you so much guys for listening if you have any doubt please leave a comment below and please do like share and subscribe keep learning and keep rocking